What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be discussing the Giants finalizing their 90 man roster down to a 53 man roster and we also have some trade news from the New York Giants. The Giants have traded with the Pittsburgh Steelers for cornerback Ross Cockrell. The Giants acquire Ross Cockrell and give away a conditional round pick, probably a 6th or 7th. I'm not sure yet. I don't think we gave up too much for Ross Cockrell, but very good trade for the Giants. We needed a fourth corner and definitely a good option for, for a fourth corner. If you guys don't know who Ross Cockrell is, uh, I have some information for you about him right now. He's six foot, 190 pounds, former fourth round pick from the Buffalo Bills. This season had 62 tackles. Um, 62 tackles, 14 pass defense, and a fumble recovery. So that's pretty good numbers for a fourth uh, fourth corner. I'm hoping we get very good production out of Ross Cockrell. I think we will. So we'll see what he does in the rotation of cornerbacks. In his career, he has 105 tackles, two interceptions, and 25 passes defense. So not bad numbers from Ross Cockrell there. So let's go right into the Giants cuts. The Giants, like I said, finalizing their roster from 90 to 53. And if you guys don't know, I'm pretty sure you guys do know, the Giants waived defensive end Oba Udigizua for PED use. He was um, caught using them PD PEDs and was later uh, waived. And I think he was suspended too. And I think uh, the Giants just waived him. They didn't really need him anyway. He did nothing in the preseason anyway. So I don't know how he was cheating, but nothing really came of his cheating. How are you bad at cheating? I don't understand. Uh, he was cheating and still couldn't fight his way up the depth chart. So he must suck. So good riddance. He is out of here. So let's go over the Giants cuts. I think I'm missing some people here. Uh, because they were put on IR and they didn't mention them in the cuts But just let me know if I missed anybody because I don't think I got everybody I think I do but um, for the most part I think I have everybody that was cut so we'll go right into it at the quarterback position Josh Johnson was cut That's exactly what I predicted. I predicted that all the quarterbacks would make the roster except Josh Johnson So I got that right running back Sean drawn and running back Khalid Abdullah. I Also predicted that as well that uh, Sean John and Khalid Abdullah would not make the roster. Fullback Jacob Huseman. Jacob Huseman does not make the roster. I also predicted that. But I did not think Shane Smith was going to make the roster. And he actually played a very solid preseason. Very solid. In the goal line, we were able to run the ball. And that was definitely because of Shane Smith. So we'll get on to Shane Smith later on when we uh, announce the 53 man roster. Wide receiver. This is the biggest shock of the preseason. The Giants release Travis Rudolph that means he makes he doesn't make the roster and that means a guy like Roger Lewis makes the roster Roger Lewis is good don't get me wrong this guy can be a very good wide receiver had a lot of potential but in the preseason did not show up like Travis Rudolph did Tavares King didn't play any of the preseason and still made the roster so I guess they really believe in him but Travis Rudolph is a huge shock this guy could have been a game changer for us definitely in in uh, the receiving game so I don't know guys I don't know he's gonna be signed to the practice squad it's obvious he's the best player that was cut so I think he's gonna get signed on to the practice squad and maybe an Andrew Adams career type of you know look for him Andrew Adams was released last year as a rookie was signed on to the practice squad and I believe it was uh, Darian Thompson that went down then Andrew Adams was signed onto the active roster and now Andrew Adams is looked at as a an above average Safety in this league or just average safety in this league, but he has been getting a lot of attention and um, Yeah, maybe that kind of career is for Travis Rudolph if he signed to the practice squad then be later moved up because of injuries Remember Tavares King is still injured right now. So you don't know what's gonna happen with him so then other, uh, other wide receivers, we got Jerome Lane, uh, Kenan Severin, Marquise Bundy, and Ed Egan. These guys were signed on late, except Jerome Lane. Uh, Jerome Lane had a lot of potential, but we just couldn't, nothing got going from him. So, And then Severin, Bundy, and Egan were signed late into the preseason and were later cut, so it really doesn't matter with them. Tight end, Will Ty 
has been released. A lot of people were saying that he's going to be released. They wanted him released. I didn't think he would be released over a guy like Jarrell Adams, who hasn't really done much. But I like Jarrell Adams, so I'd rather have Jarrell Adams on the roster than Will Ty. I just think we can get uh, get more out of Jarrell Adams as a player, as production. He's better uh, after you know after the catch and everything. So, um, and then Matt Lacoste makes the roster, and he gets his turn because for two years straight he wasn't able to make the roster, and Will Ty did. Now it's Matt Lacoste's turn. If you guys didn't know, they both. Um, in 2015, they were both signed as um, undrafted free agents, and they were head-to-head -head in the preseason and in training camp, but Will Ty wound up making the roster and not Matt Lacoste. Now it's Matt Lacoste's turn, so um, we'll see what he does in the regular season. And then another surprising cut. We cut our sixth round draft pick, Adam Biznawadi. He did not play in the preseason, uh, did not play well in the pre uh, preseason. He was playing mostly at right tackle and was getting completely demolished uh, at, you know, no matter who was facing him. So Adam Biznawadi was a bad pick for us and that's what it is. A lot of people were saying he was supposed to be a guard and that looks to be the case. Uh, then we uh, released John Jalapio, Jaron Jones, who was basically a defensive tackle that we tried an experiment on, but he was a defensive tackle. We released him, and Matt Rotherman, don't really know too much about him. He was another guy signed late in the uh, preseason. And then with the D-lineman, Devin Taylor has been cut. That really shows to how how much depth we have at the defensive end position. Devin Taylor played extremely well with the Lions. I was very excited bringing him in after the signing when we did sign him. But, you know, in the preseason, he just kind of got lost in the rotation. Everybody else was making plays, and he wasn't in the first preseason, preseason game. He had an interception, but that was pretty much all we saw from Devin Taylor. He did get some pressure here and there, but it was really Avery Moss, Kerry Wynn, you know, even... You know, all those um, lower depth guys were really making plays, so uh, they that earned them a, a roster spot over Devin Taylor. And then we move on to Bobby Richardson and Jordan Williams. Jordan Williams was put on IR, so he could not make the roster. I think you Jordan Williams on IR and Josh Banks also on IR. And then for linebackers, finally, I've been waiting for this for years. Mark Hertzlick is finally gone and I think he's gone only because he was put on IR finally Mark Herslick is I know he does so much for this team he switches to all linebacker positions he was trying out fullback this year trying to do everything he can for the New York Giants but I mean he he's not good guys he's not good why do you think they tried him as a versatile player uh, for us he is not that good to be staying at one position so Goodbye, Mark Herslick. You know, he had a great story. You know, he is a cancer survivor. And, you know, he was dedicated to this team, but it's time to move on. Deontay Skinner was released. Stansley Mapunga, who played very bad in this preseason. And Curtis Grant was released. Curtis Grant actually played pretty well, but, you know, we got to do what we got to do. Cornerbacks, Dante Dion and Deshaun Amos. I was hoping one of these guys would make the roster because I liked what I saw from these guys. Dante Dion, my guy from Boise State. He, he played his butt off, guys, in the preseason. I think it's just because his height. His height is not allowing him to play uh, to make this 53-man roster. He's very small, and it's hard to win in this league when you're very small. So, um... You know, it sucks for Dante Dion. I assume, I assume he's going to make the uh, practice squad once again. But we'll see. I hope he gets some playing time in the regular season. I really do. And then uh, Nigel Tribune after that. He, he didn't really make any plays. He was playing a lot in, in the preseason, especially the last two preseason games. But I really saw nothing from Nigel Tribune. He kept getting ex exposed on every play. So I'm okay with that. Safety, Ryan Murphy and Trey Robinson were cut. Ryan Murphy had a pretty good standout play. I think it was versus the Jets where he completely leveled, um, what's his name, uh, Bryce Petty, completely leveled him in a play that didn't count. Um, you know, it, it was a shot hurt, or hurt all around the world, but it didn't count. But that was probably the one play he made this whole preseason. So, And then Trey Robinson really did nothing. Uh, Oba Odigizua, as, as I mentioned, uh, is gone. Duke Ian Nacho also was released because he was put on IR. 
And then the last cut, Mike Nugent was cut from the team. And that means Aldrich Rosas makes the roster. This guy's been looking fantastic in the preseason, guys. Hitting all his kick kicks. Don't... Um, uh, Mike Nugent also hit all his kicks. Don't get me wrong, but Aldrich Rosas, he's younger. He's definitely more accurate, and I really put my trust in uh, Aldrich Rosas when it comes to kicking the ball. So uh, let's go to the full 53-man roster. I'm going to go through this pretty quickly because I don't want to make this too long of a video. So the Giants 53-man roster, this is in no particular order when it comes to position, so this is not a depth chart. This is just me listing the names out for you guys. We've got Eli Manning, Geno Smith, and Davis Webb at the quarterback position. At the running back position, we have Paul Perkins, Orleans Darkwall, Wayne Goldman Jr., and Shane Vereen. For fullback, we got Shane Smith. Very excited for Shane Smith. Very excited for Shane Smith. I can't wait to see how good our running game uh, gets as he develops as a player because I'm telling you guys, in the goal line, he was very good. Look at that play that when Orleans Darkwall scored that rushing touchdown. Look at that play. We're going to move on to the tight ends now. Evan Ingram, Jarrell Adams, Rhett Ellison, and Matt Lacoste. Wide receivers, Odell Beckham Jr., Brandon Marshall, Sterling Shepard, Tavares King, Roger Lewis Jr., and Dwayne Harris. Dwayne Harris did not play any of the preseason because he was hurt, and he still made the roster. Why can't we trade this guy? I know he's hurt, so he doesn't get as much trade value but at least do something with him i don't want Dwayne harris on this team anymore i think we need that spot for um for travis rudolph i want that spot for travis rudolph but anyway Dwayne harris is still on the roster nonetheless o-line we're gonna go through um the starting o-line then the backup left tackle eric flowers left guard justin Pugh. center weston richburg right guard john jerry right tackle bobby hart or chad wheeler We'll see what happens with Chad Wheeler, but uh, that spoils it. Our swing tackle will be Chad Wheeler. Um, second guard is going to be Brett Jones slash center. He, he's, a, he's mostly a center, but he comes in at guard as well. Also, DJ Fluker made the roster, and he can go anywhere except center. I've really never seen him play center, but he plays all tackle, both tackles and both guards. So, uh, DJ Fluker also makes the roster. Moving on to the defense. We'll start off with the defensive ends. We've got Olivier Vernon, JPP, Romeo Akwara, Avery Moss, and Kerry Wynn. At the defensive tackle position, we've got Damon Harrison, Dalvin Tomlinson, Jay Bromley, and Robert Thomas. Uh, I'm really liking what I see for the defensive tackle position and the defensive ends. Um, I want to see who wins that starting job because Jay Bromley started the, the preseason. Let's see if Dalvin Tomlinson starts the regular season. I want to see that battle go on. Uh, to the linebackers now, we've got BJ Goodson who has who had a phenomenal, phenomenal preseason. Can't wait to see what we um, get from him in the regular season. Still has some things to clean up. Don't get me wrong. He's not the best middle linebacker we've ever seen. He still has some things to clean up, but the upside is definitely there for BJ Goodson. Moving on to Jonathan Casillas, had a pretty productive preseason, picking up right where he left off, tackles for loss, secure tackles, same thing what we saw from uh, last year from Jonathan Casillas, so hopefully he doesn't let up in the, pre uh, in the regular season. Then Devon Kennard, Keenan Robinson, and JT Thomas, we'll see who wins that job at weak side linebacker, JT Thomas or Jonathan Casillas, because remember, JT Thomas was injured last year. That gave Jonathan Casillas the go at uh, starting weak, li weak side linebacker. So we're definitely going to see that competition once again. So who gets that starting role? I already finished my video, but I forgot to mention that Calvin Munson also made the roster. Calvin Munson, a undrafted rookie out of San Diego State and was really projected to be drafted but wasn't drafted, had a meeting with the Giants before he was drafted, so the Giants had interest in, in him before the draft. We wound up bringing him on. He had a great preseason, and he is now a member of the New York Giants. Then we got the corners. We got DRC, uh, Janoris Jenkins, Eli Apple, Ross Cockrell, and Michael Hunter Jr. Michael Hunter Jr. did play pretty well in the preseason, but I did see some things I didn't like um, be, getting beat deep. But I like his man coverage. Uh, the Giants usually play man coverage, and I like the way, uh, like what I saw from him in man. 
So moving on to free safeties, we've got Darian Thompson, Andrew Adams. Then at strong safety, we've got Landon Collins and Nat Burhey. Why the hell is Nat Burhey making the roster? I don't like this guy at all. He's nicknamed the missile, but the missile winds up exploding before he hits his target because he's always injured no matter what. He, this guy does not play a full season. He's not going to get past three seasons. I guarantee you guys, uh, three seasons, three games. He's not going to get past three games, guys. I promise you that because he, he's always getting injured. Before Landon Collins, he was supposed to be the starter, but injury caused him not to play. Uh, I guarantee you he's going to be put on the IR sometime in this season, and that's going to promote one of these young safeties onto the roster. And then special teams, you guys know, Zach Diossi, Aldrick Rosas at kicker, Zach Diossi at long snapper, and Brad Wing at punter. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think about the trade that went down. Ross Cockrell for the conditional pick from the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. And yeah... I'll see you guys in the next video.